Welcome back, good people. Uh, this is Sydney again from SOS Studios, about to take you through the journey of uh, this weekend. Uh, this weekend, uh, the team is in uh, Hamilton, and uh, we are up against South Africa, Scotland, and France. So, coming into this leg, uh, there are majorly a, a few issues. Uh, mainly, one, uh, we all know that we have a young team. Uh, from the beat from the forwards and to the backs so we aren't that uh, as experienced as it was in those previous seasons but uh, one advantage that I see the team has one is in terms of speed you can look at uh, the whole squad uh, from the wingers we have uh, Brian who has been a winger for Kenya Harlequins and uh, he, he has also been uh, played as an outside uh, prop during the sevens, but more, more so for, as for his abilities of being a winger and uh, his abilities also to catch the high ball. So he brings a lot of the advantage in terms of also contest for the high ball. Uh, we look at uh, Harold Duvate, who is also in the forwards. He also bring, uh, brings experience, him having captained the Kenya under-20 team last year. Uh, that was uh, actually this, this last year end, ending. And uh, what he brings also is also that leadership role that he plays at his club level. It, it will be also interesting to see how uh, he adopts to the international uh, level considering this is his first outing as a sevens player. But uh, as an international player, he's, he has also played in uh, international games. So just transferring that mindset from the local game to the international game will also be one thing we will be key for the team also. Uh, looking also in the forwards, we have uh, Bush Mwale, who also returns to the team after a one-year hiatus. Uh, he also brings a, a, a whole breadth of experience, considering he's been in the team for quite a while, even though he wasn't there for a couple of, for, since last season for one year. So there's still that experience that he still can bring and that confidence he can still instill in the new guys who are in the team. Uh, as you look, uh, let's say the guys who are, who played, uh, who, who have come back, uh, Brian Tabu, he seems to be cementing his, his name in the international scene. One thing I do like uh, about him is, is uh, his, his, crea his creativity in the midfield and also that uh, also his kicking uh, when we do have kickoffs, he's able to raise the ball really high which gives us uh, enough leverage when you're competing for the ball. So it will be interesting to see uh, who, who kicks, uh, let's say, in our games. Or will it be also Olindi? Olindi also brings uh, also a lot of uh, newness, but a lot of also that, that young, energizing experience in the flyer position. Because also he he he's also play, he also plays the flyer role. Uh, Brian Tabu can also shift between uh, uh, fly half. Uh, rather, uh, it be also also interesting to see where where he can also play apart from fly half. We also have uh, Cyprian Kuto, who's also that that whole experience. Uh, his his experience uh, in Cape Town, he played wing. And uh, I'm sure this time maybe they can bring him maybe to center or they can play him at wing, whichever. And we also have uh, Jaco Boji, his, oh, his experience. And this is, I really like to see what he brings to the table in terms of uh, his speed and uh, what, what is he will transfer from the Simbas. Because uh, he last played in 2014 and uh, Coach Paul True. But now, uh, since then, he's been only playing for the Simbas. But that experience, I'm sure, is uh, also something that I'm sure will uplift the team. Uh, I'm sure he'll either be placed at wing, but I think he can still play wing and centre. But either way, we'll see where uh, most probably he'll play at the wing. We also have uh, the option of uh, Michael Wanjala, who has been 
that's his, his, his experience in the team. He's also wide, he's also a playmaker. So we have two playmakers in the team. More so, let's say three playmakers. We have uh, Olindi, we have, uh, there are four. We have Olindi, we have Wahinya, we have uh, Wanjala, and uh, Olindi, Wanjala, Wahinya, and Tabu. Yo, so four playmakers who can still uh, still bring a lot to the team. Uh, still, we have uh, also uh, Wahinya. He is also uh, also growing into the game. I really like to see how his confidence still builds against uh, those big teams as he gets more game time. Uh, we also have uh, people in the in the squad like. Uh, uh, our the, the KCB winger uh, Onyala, who uh, really shown in Cape Town, and uh, his speed, his speed is also he's also a finisher. So it will be interesting to see how he also plays or that combination. What because right now I think also the coach is also trying to bring the best combination in the team, and also trying to see what works for him and what doesn't work for him. For Kenya, per se, I really say that uh, where we lacked in those two opening legs was uh, one in terms of uh, the, our defence. Our defence wasn't really organised, uh, more so when uh, the, the first or the, the opposition broke the, the game line and uh, we were chasing back. Now after the first rack, the second rack, everybody was rather chasing the ball rather than forming that defensive pattern after we uh, they are chasing back so it will be also be key interesting to see how uh, our defensive capabilities have improved also in regards to defense uh, how do we uh, also finish our tackles because against those big teams like fiji we didn't uh, complete our tackles uh, most of the uh, we were going high rather rather per se so against those big big teams uh, i know in the pool like also in dubai scotland was also a, a team that we found hard to beat but in the first half we'd rather contain them but let off the gears in the second half so it will be also key interesting to see how how we adapt how the new players play if we can uh, when we play, we can uh, put the, the 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 players who are carrying the ball, the opposition the opposition carriers who are running lines. If we can put them to ground fast, faster, and rather form a defensive shape. And even though in us for forming our defensive shape, where do we get the ball back? Because you can't just defend. We have to defend and get the ball back. So there has to be a strategy around that. So it will be also key and interesting to see where do we get the ball back at the kickoff, which was also a weak point for us uh, in uh, Cape Town. I feel uh, more so like the England game. That was a game which I think we could have beaten England. Uh, but uh, more so the second half, uh, two, two losses from uh, winning the kickoff made us not uh, win that game and England made two easy tries uh, to to win by a three three try margin uh, also in terms of uh, defense uh, England are quick in moving the ball same as Scotland uh, Scotland played their gameplay is really moving the ball fast through the hands getting the ball to the winger forming the racks and putting the ball in phases so how we mitigate that how do we how do we counter 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 uh, play, plays like how scotland will be doing rather than us just running from end to end making the tackle at the end at the at the at the at the edges how do we how do we disrupt their ball flow yes uh, the way south africa will do because that's that's really their game plan they really like to play that rush up defense in your face make you hesitate uh, put you down to ground and contest the ball quick turnovers uh, are key for south africa 
where because they like to put the ball in space to the wingers and make that easy try line. So they are, they really like to play that counter counter rugby, counter counter attack in football. But now it's it's counter rugby because now they're putting the ball into phases from the breakdown from the penalty. So how do we 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 need to play deeper when we need to move the ball faster? And if somebody is taking the ball up, we need to be. The second man has to be really over the bridge. The second, the third man has to be over the bridge because that is where South Africa thrive at the breakdown. So if we can really build up on those key faces, uh, be one, those three, three elements in this tournament, defense, the kickoff, and the breakdown. I feel that uh, with this team, we will really have a really good uh, mix of talent and uh, speed is also one 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 key aspect that us as a team this team i think carries be it from the forwards to the the backs so uh, also france we can't deny france they still have a higher test match experience in terms of in the world series and uh, they they have they have also been a, a hard nut to crack even in previous seasons because uh, we find that uh, we in some 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 games, let's say, from uh, France beating us, sometimes majority of the times we beat France. So if we can get at least two games, two games, we can win at least two games. That that will be key for us because I know we can, if the boys can get that confidence, confidence, even if of start just starting winning that game. And getting that confidence that we know we can beat these people this is what we have and uh, there are people i have from cape town there's still that sense of belief that the boys know that they can do it and i know the boys can do it even though there isn't that uh, experience in the team which would have matured the players into playing at that high capacity uh, the advantage uh, for this season is also that uh, we're really having a, a huge depth of players who are being exposed in as much as uh, we don't have uh, uh, the experienced uh, players who are in the team because if meaning if the experienced players were there uh, the guys just fitting into the team would have been uh, a natural progress where we are now they find the team performing at a high level and they know the intensity they play at that high intensity because they are seeing what what their peers are doing that at that high intensity. But anyway, if, if wishes were horses, but uh, the team currently on really has to utilize its speed. Uh, we have Wandeto also in the team, who was uh, also the top try scorer in in uh, in the seventh circuit, and uh, he brings a lot of speed. Uh, it's to be really interesting to see if if he gets game time. How, how he handles that pressure, how he plays at that high level against uh, the big the big names. Uh, is it uh, against uh, uh, Chris Dry, against uh, his opposite number from South Africa, from Scotland, uh, Scott Riddell. So I, I really, this team is, is really, I feel that given, given that time, even though this, this is an Olympic qualification year, the team has really a lot to prove and they, they, there's a lot of value in this young team. And I feel that uh, uh, this Hamilton will be one of the stepping stones for what, what the, t the team will achieve because there's a, lot of that, there's a lot that the team has to offer. So if the guys can just pull up and just wake up with that confidence and play to the structures that the coach will give them at the end of the day secure those three three key aspects the kickoff the defense and the breakdown so look forward uh, to hamilton uh, go team kenya uh, set your alarm clocks hakuna kulala weekend cheers